Hey everybody, Andrew Fantasia here, and D23 is coming. It's right around the corner. I'm so excited. I've got my Mickey pencil. I'm ready to go. You can tell. I'm just, I'm all set. Now, uh, because we know there's going to be some Marvel stuff and some Star Wars stuff going on in D23, and we know how excited that makes me, uh, I decided to uh, place some bets and make some predictions and maybe see uh, if I can guess some of the grand things that will be revealed and will not be revealed at D23 2022. So without further ado, let's talk about what I think we are going to see and not see. And then I'm going to throw it over to Ryan and we're going to hear what he has to say. Maybe we'll be right, maybe we'll be wrong. If you've been following us, you know our track record. Wrong is definitely in our vocabulary. So here we go. Our D23 bets. Time to put my game face on. <clears throat> I'm ready. Fantastic Four, main cast, revealed. Yes. Thunderbolts, main cast, revealed. No. Guardians of the Galaxy Holiday Special. No. Werewolf by Night, Halloween Special. Yes. Shang-Chi 2, announced. No. Hawkeye, Season 2, announced. No. Moon Knight, Season 2, announced. Yes. Secret Wars Director, revealed. Yes. Black Panther Wakanda Forever, final theatrical poster. Yes. Ant-Man and the Wasp Quantumania teaser trailer. No. Number of new Marvel movies announced. Zero. Number of new Marvel shows announced. Two. Number of times Kevin Feige will use the word mutant. Three. Number of mutant characters actually announced and confirmed. One. Number of times someone will say the words Ghost Rider. One. Number of logos that will be changed. Two. Number of times the Disney corporate suits will use the word content. 79. Odds they announce Tom Holland Spider-Man 4. 36%. Odds of Mephisto confirmed. 12%. Odds of Christine Everhart as a nihilist confirmed. Even money. Odds of Eros suddenly becoming less important. 45%. Odds Marvel zombies will get quietly cancelled. 33%. Number of humans on planet Earth will be disappointed if Marvel Zombies gets quietly cancelled. I'm gonna say like, eight. The Bad Batch Season 2 will get a new trailer. Yes. We'll see new footage from Andor. Yes. The wait for Andor will somehow become easier. That's a big no. Grand Admiral Thrawn casting announcement. Yes. Number of times someone will use the word Grogu. Five. Odds of a Mandalorian Season 3 trailer. 50%. Odds of a Mandalorian Season 3 release date, 90%. Patty Jenkins, Ryan Johnson, J.D. Dillard, or Taika Waititi will have a confirmed Star Wars movie. No. Somebody, anybody at all, will have a confirmed Star Wars movie. Yes. That confirmed Star Wars movie will eventually be put on indefinite hiatus. Yes. And that's all I got. That's it. So now we're going to throw it over to Ryan and see what he has to say. Does he agree with these? What does he think is going to happen? What does he think is going to not happen? Ryan, take it away. All right. Thank you, Fantasia. Here are my predictions for D23. What are the odds that they will announce the rest of the titles for Phase 6? 100%. How many casting announcements will they have? 12. What are the chances they will announce the casting of Wolverine? Uh, I would say it's about... 85%. Of the six films that have yet to be announced, I think it's about six, how many of them are going to be group or collaboration films or projects? Two. How many superheroes will be introduced? Four. Of them, what are the chances they will be Ghost Rider? 80%. Of them, what are the chances of Wonder Man? If the rumors continue to persist, I would say it's pretty high. I'm going to say also 80% on that one. Of those projects being announced, how many of them are films and how many of them are Disney Plus? Films, two. Disney Plus, four. I actually think they're going to do their first ever Disney Plus movie. They're only going to do one. I, def I, I definitely believe that's going to happen. What are the chances they're going to announce the casting for Doctor Doom? 90%. How many times will they mention the Avengers? 
seven. Overall, I think this is gonna be a very important D23 announcement experience. I think that they're going to heavily talk about the Fantastic Four and the X-Men in this one. Being that this is the first time they've been in person since COVID, uh, this is, uh, they've also had now a number of years now that the rights have all come into Disney. We're seeing all the characters starting to, um, and like other characters from other franchises and Netflix series and stuff starting to mix and intertwine into the MCU. So at this point, we're definitely going to see a lot of talking about the Fantastic Four. We're going to get a bit of a story arc there. And then we're going to see the casting of the Fantastic Four and Doctor Doom. I definitely think we're going to see the, we're going to see an announcement of the X-Men and we're going to see some of the cast members, if not all of the cast members for X-Men. And I feel that if they don't announce all of them, but they announce an X-Men project is coming, then they're gonna talk about Deadpool 3 and they're gonna announce what X-Men will make an appearance in Deadpool 3. That's how that's going to go down. I think Wonder Man is definitely a rumor that seems to be very consistent. So I think we're gonna definitely see the introduction of Wonder Man. I think we're gonna see the introduction. I, I heavily believe we're going to see the introduction of Ghost Rider. Uh, and bring him back. And then the group of the two group films, we have Thunderbolts coming. I do believe there's going to be a Midnight Suns coming with the with Song Chi, Wong, uh, Ghost Rider, Blade, uh, Doctor Strange. So we're gonna see something like that, of that caliber. If they do the story of Midnight Suns, I think it's gonna be really good. I do think we're gonna see another event movie of some kind, maybe like the War of the Gods. I think that's another big one that could happen there. Yeah, I think those overall, those are gonna be the big ones. Is they're gonna announce another big collaboration movie, uh, which I think is going to be the Midnight Suns, uh, especially with the, you know, with the end credit sequence of also the Black Knight. I think he's gonna be kind of like the MCU twist on the MCU, uh, or sorry, the MCU twist of the Midnight Suns. So I think that's gonna be a big one. But really, I think the major focus of this is talking about bringing the two, two big superhero groups back into the MCU, which is the Fantastic Four and the X-Men. If they don't talk about it, man, they gotta have some big announcements lined up for that. So that's gonna be interesting. Will I think they show, the, the, the odds of them showing a Guardians trailer is actually gonna be pretty high, as well as, as, well as of course, Ant-Man. I do think that they will show those trailers as well. But anyways. The D23 is coming up very soon, and I'm very excited to review it. So we'll see you then. Thank you so much. Back to you, Fantasia. Cool, and that's everything, everybody. That's all we've got to say in terms of the upcoming D23. This is an exciting time. Whatever happens, wrong or right, all I know is we are going to have a hell of a fun time. And if you're a fan of all these things, there's definitely going to be at least one or two things in there that uh, is going to put a smile on your face and make you excited when those panels hit center stage this weekend. So until we find that out and go over all the ways we were wrong, please, everybody have a marvelous day.